Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection in space Silver Ranger and Silver Cycle as part of the Deluxe Series uh, Wave 3. Blue Centurion uh, was the other figure in this, you know, wave. It's always like a two-pack wave. Um, but here we have the Silver in space Silver Ranger. This is an exciting one for a couple of reasons. Uh, first one is because the Walgreens exclusive in space Silver Ranger never hit stores, uh, popped up online, uh, on Hasbro Pulse for a short time. I'm trying to think, and I think maybe Walgreens had it online for a very short time, but it was really hard for people to get. I ended up getting mine overseas. I got one from Hasbro Pulse in, in, in uh, Mr. John's. Um, he needed one, so I hooked him up. Like, it was difficult to get, and I think it's still going for a lot um, to try and get that figure now. Uh, but here we have a new release of it, so it gives people an awesome chance um, to get one because you know, it's it's very abundant right whether ordering online pre-ordering or just going into Target stores right now and getting it um, So it's exciting for that reason. It's also exciting because I get to just trash this figure because it sucks Not that I'm excited about that I'm actually super bummed about it because it's a piece of crap But I bought a second one and I will open it up on video We'll see are they all crap because so far that everyone's gotten one. There's been crap I'm gonna open up another one and we'll see if it's crap as well. Um, it's just a poorly executed figure um, from from a QC standpoint, so whatever's going on in the factory, it sucks, because I'm sure that's not how the figure is supposed to be. Um, and we'll get into that. Uh, but here, the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Deluxe Wave Box, it is uh, windowless. Wave 2 started that, we're on Wave 3, we see it again. But we have the figure on the cycle, we got artwork uh, for the Silver Ranger there, we get that same artwork on the back. Uh, we get all the accessories and 3D render and everything, it's just the box, kind of sucks, we don't have to really pay attention to it anymore. Uh, but we want to pay attention to this figure. The figure is terrible because look, just look at how wobbly it is. That's ridiculous. The other thing is, is it like won't stand because it's just really bad. Now mine, depending on how you want to do it, mine always wants to do the splits too because this ankle right here is terrible. So I want you to see when I grab this by the ankle, this figure should not be able to do this. Like, if I grab the other ankle, see how this figure is not really doing that? It's just this one that's really bad. Like, really, really bad. And then on top of that is we get two different white color plastics uh, for the feet and the boots and then the gloves. Well, that, the problem is, is that's paint, white paint. But this white plastic of the boot um, and the white paint not white paint white plastic of the boot and the white plastic of the feet um, are not the same and it's very noticeable and it's like irritating to look at um, so it's just this is not a good release it's cool that people get a chance to get it but it's just the figure really really sucks and and that that sucks like I love the Power Rangers lightning collection line um, I loved the Power Rangers when I was a kid in space is a different one because I actually watched that as an adult with my son and thoroughly enjoyed it um, so it sucks when we get something like this. You know, this is the new body mold where it has the pinless knees, the pinless elbows, the articulated neck, um, and what people are calling drop down hips, which I, I don't know if I want to call them drop down hips because I feel like these hips don't necessarily move independent of each other. Like if you move one down, the other one goes up, right? If you move, if so, you can't both bring them down, or maybe you can, and maybe you can both bring them up but not really so it's just they're not they're not good and that's what's causing a lot of the wobbliness going on with the figure like it's just oh, it's just not good and then for whatever reason the ab diaphragm just doesn't really work well on this guy so um there is all that but the silver cycle cycle is pretty cool um in fact we're actually going to take a look at the silver cycle first we're going to put it together and then we'll take a look at this figure we'll open up that other one to see if it's something that you know every single figure is going to have an issue with um if that is the case it is what it is but i at least want one with a good ankle to where this guy isn't just going to want to do the splits like when i try and put him down you see immediately the legs just like it should not do that um and, and I, I don't want to be like too negative, super negative. I really don't want to be, so I'm gonna try not to be. So let's focus on the cool thing, which is the silver cycle. Okay, so here is the the, uh, the silver cycle. This thing is pretty good. You know, at $33.99, you know, it would have been, the old price would have been $20.99, $29.99 for a figure and a vehicle. That's pretty damn good. 
Um, Marvel Legends for a figure in a vehicle was $39.99. Now, granted, those those were usually bigger than this, and they had more accessories, I would say. Uh, but I think the value is really here for this. Even at the $33.99, the $30 even would have been a lot better. I, I really like that price more. But $34, I see the value here when you get a figure. Regard, I mean, it sucks. But when you get the vehicle and the figure, now... Um, Blue Centurion, you, you just get the figure. There's no other vehicle, and I get that there's a lot to there, but here I definitely see the value more than that figure. Um, but to, to piece it together, we got to do a couple of things. Uh, but I do want to kind of talk about the, the sculpting work in here, like in the motor and engine and everything. A lot of sculpted detail. There's no paint detail on this thing really anywhere because you got black plastic, you got gray plastic that is all marbleized, as you can see because uh, they want to try and make it a silver-ish color. So really the only paint that we get on here is going to be the gold paint there and on the other side. I mean, you know, I guess this black right there would be a little bit of paint, but not a whole lot going on for it. Uh, but let's go ahead and piece it together. So we have here the handlebar, um, and looking at it on how we are going to... It's a very odd design in my opinion, because if you look, like there's not a lot of clearance space to get this thing in there. And does it freely just sit in there? Because it's not like popping on or anything. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So, okay. There we go. Look at that. And then it turns the wheel. So we're good. You just have to apply a little bit more force. Uh, then here, looking at this front fender piece, you get um, a sticker there for the electronics. Uh, some translucent plastic for what, where I guess there would be lights. And then you could just see it just slides right on in and boom. So there is these, the silver cycle. Um, and that's not too bad. Uh, you know, I like it. I think it looks pretty good. There we go. So now let's go ahead and get to the figure. Oh. Okay, for some comparisons to the original Walgreens release. That's this one here because he could stand up normally. This one just wants to sag down. Um, so a couple, oh man. Uh, a couple of differences. First, the green squares are much bigger on the new one, as you can see there. Um, they're smaller here, uh, but I like the brighter gold of the original release um, compared to this first one. The silver itself is basically the same. If anything, this newer one is a little bit darker. I think I like the lighter color more, but I definitely like the brighter gold. It's more of a yellow gold, whereas this is more of a traditional gold, um, but I think I like the brighter gold more. Although in the helmet, the new helmet, I guess the darker gold does look pretty good. But one thing that's terrible on mine is if you look, and this happens with a lot of Power Rangers figures with the visors, you see how they're, the paint, it's just slightly off. And it's, you know, like right in the center and it just, it bothers me. So that was another reason why I wanted to get um, a new Silver Ranger. Um, and then looking around, it's essentially the same, but notice the boots. So the the walgreens exclusive right the the slight off-white of the boot is the same as the foot whereas here you get a slightly off-white boot but the foot is just super white it just looks it looks very off i'm not sure how well it's coming on camera but yeah it bothers it bothers me a little bit and then here at the top of the boot you can see the gold went around the rim it did not this time around as you can see white there but other than that the figures are the same and then of course the difference being um the different body mold used right so this is version one this would be version two so it's all pinless and supposedly the drop down hips or whatever so really those are the differences uh between the figures we do get different zane heads so let's go ahead and take a look at those now Okay, so here are two Zane uh, head sculpts, and I think I like the original Walgreens exclusive one um, a bit more than this new one. Uh, the new one looks a little bit more cartoony to me, and not not so much um, like more of a realistic look of the actor. Let me darken it up a little bit. Um, so yeah, I think the Walgreens exclusive one looks better to me. You guys let me know down in the comments below which one you think looks better. Uh, but that's not all, because we also have a uh, third head sculpt release, as you can see here. Uh, this came in the two pack with TJ Blue Ranger and the In Space Silver Psycho Psycho Ranger. I, I almost want to say Cycle Psycho Ranger, um, and I don't think this one's as good. The the blonde. I think is is an okay color, but I think I like the lighter color of these other two releases. Uh, but I definitely like the Walgreens exclusive one more. But um, you guys let me know down in the comments below of the three. And I lost the other one. Which one you think is the best? 
Okay, and to get the other accessories out of the way, so we also have a fist for the right hand and we have the karate chop for the left. Out of the package, he has the, just the two like holding hands. Um, he does come with the silver ionizer, I think it was called. And as you can see, these are very similar to the previous release ones from the Walgreens um, exclusive. The difference is these handles here actually get some silver paint on that Walgreens one. As you can see, silver there but we do not get the silver on this new one. Um, and then we don't get an effect piece, of course. So uh, that's it for the differences with the accessories. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy's accessories and then we will do the surprise. How does another one uh, feel um, if he's all wobbly as hell? Because I have a feeling he's gonna be the same because everyone else has had the same problem. Okay, so silver ranger is on a dumbbell joint so he can't actually look up unfortunately so the hinge you know he was able to um, with this new style he cannot he can look down only that much you get full rotation in there um, you can get some pivot going on in the helmet you get a swivel and then the neck itself would swivel as well if that's what you wanted to do shoulder you can get to go straight on out like so which is good you can do a full rotation in there there is the butterfly joint so the butterfly you can get the arm to go back uh, that far, which is pretty good. Cross body a little bit forward, not a huge amount, but some. You have an upper bicep swivel in there. Uh, double jointed pinless elbow, so it's cool that we get pinless, as you can see, a more than 90 degree bend. Uh, their wrists swivel and they hinge. These holding hands do have the vertical hinge as opposed to the horizontal hinge, so that is really good. Both of those, the karate chop and the fist, do have the standard horizontal hinge. Uh, diaphragm cut on this guy, and it doesn't really, it's not super effective, so he can pivot to his or tilt to his left that much he could tilt to his right uh, that much going back not really a whole lot coming forward uh, very little as well but Power Rangers Lightning Collection we have the inverted abs so it should work out great right um, it does going back as you can see but coming for oh look at that never mind I got it <laughs> I cracked the hell out of it all right Felt like I was gonna break that thing, but all right. So I was I, I I was faced with a lot of resistance. I'm glad to know that my carelessness just now really opened that up to where he would uh, crunch forward because before he was not. So hey, that that is that is a good sign at least. But the wobbly is a bad sign. Uh, legs, you can do a full-on split. That is pretty good. So that could be um, a sign of the drop-down hips themselves. Um, kind of working in play, kick forward that much. The leg actually goes back a little bit. Got an upper thigh cut in there. Double jointed pinless knee, which works out fairly well. So you can see there. You got the boot swivel. Foot hinges down all the way. Hinge up a little bit. Ankle pivot pegs at the bottom of the feet. Now, the hips. Are these a true drop down? So... There is an up upright position, but see, as soon as, so I move this one up, right? This one's down. As soon as I move this one down, you can see it lowered this one. So can this truly be drop down hips? I want to say no, but there is both up. I had to just, you know, put it, stand it down and then force the body down. So the hips are there, but can you move one independent of the other? Or can they both be down? So there's down. There's down. So unlike Blue Centurion, and maybe I need to work with it a little bit more. So the hips are down. So I guess they would be true drop-down hips. But that's the problem because they're they're wobbly. I, th I don't know if it's just because of the technology that Hasbro's using that they just don't work out well together. You could see the plastic in that hip. They actually touch, and I think maybe that's the problem of them you know, being together and just being loose in there and wobbling around. I mean... Hasbro has done some Marvel Legends with drop down hips and they work out well, but you know, import companies just do that so much better than, than Hasbro does. And then in this case, you could see the terrible side of what happens, what happens when it doesn't work out well. So see, look like you just want to put them down. He just wants to do the splits. God. Oh, I hate that. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Okay, so here you can see the tape is still on there to show you guys that I have no idea if this figure is gonna be any good or not. We're just gonna go right through it together and and discover it um, live in the recording on how well this figure is. Look at that ankle already, shit. That's what happened with this one. I pulled it out of the bag and the ankle was all like bent over. Ugh. Oh, you know what? It's it's not 
it's not loose. Okay, thank God. Uh, but, hold on. Seems to be a little bit better. Let's get this, let's get things into place here. Let's, let's see what's going on. The helmet is painted a lot better though. Look at that. It's straight on there. No overlap, no misalignment. So the helmet is good. So it looks like this is definitely going to be the keeper while the other one is going to be the one that I return back to target. So, so far, so good. Um, he still has white boots versus like slightly off white or white feet versus slightly off white leg boots. Um, but a little bit of wobble. Let's see. You can see there, there is, there is a difference. Look at that. This one right here, the first one I bought is shit. This one's still bad, but not as bad. Like, let's see. Oh, did you see that? The legs tried to go separate a little bit. Look at that. Okay. Okay. So there we go. So some are just much worse than others. So I'm glad I picked up a second one. Oh, God, look at that. Like this separated a little bit, but just in general, right? Huge difference. So that is absolutely no good, but this one is much better, but still not great guys. Still not great. And then this one, oh, these ones, the, the drop down hips work a little bit better. The left is still a little stuck, but the right definitely works um, a lot better. Um, and a lot more than it's sh how it's supposed to be designed. But again, guys, these, these hips are still really loose, um, but it just does not have nearly as much wobble. So this new one um, is a keeper. So I'm definitely a lot more happy. I'm not 100% satisfied, um, but I'm definitely happier now that I could return that other one. Okay, so here is the Silver Ranger on the Silver Cycle, and that, he sits on there pretty nicely, actually, as you can see. Then you can go... Um, and he can go riding around on his silver uh, cycle. I don't really remember from the show when when he used the silver the silver cycle. Um, I'd have to really go back and look. Now, one thing I didn't test on this figure was the ab. So I I crunched him forward, um, you know, because you know if you want to gain speed, you want to get under um, under the the uh, wind resistance there. But looking at this, and this worries me, you could see some separation of the plastic there. Um, on that lower that lower piece. So I don't know if I'm just forcing it too much uh, But unfortunately it looks like the glue or whatever is holding that is kind of coming undone um, So I'm gonna have to go back to the other one and look to see I already put it in the other box, but that kind of scares me um, So yeah, but anyway, I'm still overall happy and happier with this body I'd hate to have to buy another one to try and get one that isn't um, so bad if I just keep have them sitting up sh straight it goes right back together and it doesn't see really seem to be an issue but uh, there there is Zane the Silver Ranger um, and then one thing and I didn't I didn't know this uh, but you know apparently the glider is supposed to turn into the cycle like we don't we don't get that function that wasn't like an old toy um, that did that but now that I see it, you know, I could see how it's supposed to have been that um, And just unfortunately, you know, the toy would would never do that. So uh, Size wise they are about the same length. So that kind of works out um, in that sense uh, There and then you know TJ had on there, but he had come off of it, I guess uh, But yeah, so in space, you know an awesome season um, if you guys haven't seen it I do recommend watching it um, and the figures are pretty cool. If you have a chance to get the Walgreens exclusive Silver Ranger, that's definitely the one to pick up, you know, but the Silver Cycle is cool. The figure is just okay. It's not better than the original release, but, you know, if it's a way for you to actually get it, then, you know, I'll, I'll recommend it for that. But otherwise, you know, if you have the Walgreens exclusive one, don't care about the cycle, I, I pass on it. Um, but you guys let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. Um, on this uh, on this silver um, in space silver ring and that is all for the review if you guys like this video please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already done so hit that join button to become a channel member and be a part of the MCU collective and as always thank you for watching